Good morning, starshines. The earth says hello. Excuse my appearance, I kind of woke up like this. I've only gotten as far as washing my face. I still have to brush my teeth, but I'm gonna show you what I'm working on here. So Sunday I got home from my art show, and then yesterday I made like two batches of candles. I did a ton of work. And then I edited my two art vlogs, the art market ones, so I could get caught up on that. I was gonna start filming this yesterday, kind of show you like what I really go through when I'm hit by rain with in one of my art booths and all the work that really goes into being a small business owner. A lot of times, when when you're a small business owner, people kind of act like you sit on your ass and do nothing. So I'm gonna show you the reality of the matter here because when you are a small business owner, you work 24 seven and no, I'm not bragging, but, oops, can't pick that up like that. I'm gonna show you my first thing. So a couple of my displays were ruined in the last video that you may have watched. If you haven't, go watch that again. But yeah, two of my displays were broken and I had more on the way, ironically. So I got this thing here get this put together. I wanted something a little bit different where people could kind of dig through something and something that's a little bit fun. I don't know if this is gonna fly or if I'm gonna keep it in my display, but I needed something where my stuff was like up and into something instead of like laid out on the table. I need more levels in my display. So I bought this thing off of Amazon and it's got these tiny little drawers here. So what I wanna do is I had a lady ask me because I weigh her at these mushrooms and she wanted to buy one for her son so I might start reselling these. So I might like, you know, do something like this and put like a little sticker here of how much each thing is. I might do that. That's just kind of an idea. And then I have these star and moon charms. So the only issue is, is like it's a lot of upfront costs to like do this kind of stuff because I do wire wrap these things. I have these Snowflake Obsidian, these will, like this will not be on my website, the rocks won't be, but this is stuff that I dug out of my storage box because me and my mom had a store when I was 18. We had an art store, we sold like vintage clothing, we sold jewelry, we sold paintings, we sold rocks. It was a pretty cool shop. Jeez, my life together here. These come apart like this, so they're stackable, really easy. And then I thought this was kind of fun for my stickers. So, I mean, if I don't fill this with rocks, I could put new variations of stickers in here. And I also have these rose quartz here. I made this glass tray thing. I might end up selling this. I made this when I was probably 16 with my mom. We took a glass class where you put glass pieces together and then you melted it in a kiln into like a, a form. I guess. So yeah, there's that. And then I'm probably gonna keep this rock cause it's nice and flat on the back. It is like broken half. So I really like it. So I think what I'm gonna do is, that's not gonna work. I might have to put the stickers down here, honestly. Cause otherwise these aren't gonna fit. Or I could just do the rose quartz down there. Sorry, I'm trying to figure all this out. I'm not gonna bore you with the details of this, but yeah, this kind of what I'm looking to do is... So that's what I'm gonna be doing in a little bit. I'm gonna be making little stickers that go here that say what it is and how much each thing is. And then I have these star and moon necklaces. These aren't on my website yet because I am gonna make more of them and I didn't have time to take pictures because my life's so chaotic. But I have all sorts of stones so I made all of those, I priced them. All right, and then the two batches of candles I made, I'm trying to make more eight ounce candles or bigger sizes, so I bought these eight ounce jars. I really like how they turned out, and then it came with these black stickers and a white marker, so I put the name of the candle on here, and then I have to take pictures of all of these, and then I also made some in these tins. This one I didn't have enough wax for, so I'm just gonna save it for my next batch. I did end up ordering more string. Uh, for making my tie bracelets. So this is all I had left. I'm still gonna use this up before I dig into that batch because I like to use up the old stuff first. This necklace here I have to stick back into my storage bin but I had to take a lobster clasp off in my, one of my last art shows because someone didn't want a magnetic clasp so I used the lobster clasp but yeah I repaired that so that's ready to go. All right and this is the reality of being an artist. It did look a lot worse yesterday. I bought this college mirror 
from Walmart the other day, which I really like it. I kind of actually like it in my house. I might have to get one for my home, but there's that. I want, so I was watching this one girl. I think her name is Monica Razik. I could be incorrect, but I watch her YouTube channel. She's an artist as well. But she was saying get a college mirror when you're doing the vendor markets because people love to look at themselves and that will draw more people into your booth. So I bought that the other day when I was coming home. It was Sunday. I was coming home from my art sale. I saw it. I was like, well, why order it when it's already there? Sorry, my toilet's in the background there. These are all candles. These are all filled with the metal tin ones. So all that inventory is done. I did have like two boxes, like two and a quarter boxes left, but now I have over four boxes full of candles. This is just back stock here that won't be going with me. And then I have to pack all this stuff up. These are the tablecloths that I had to wash because they were drenched. They were, they all got rained on, everything was wet. And that's half the reason of why I stayed at my art show is because I was like, well, I either let it ruin my day, come home, unpack everything, and let it air dry at home and make no money, or I can try to make my tent fee back, or I can try and make my money back and buy a new tent with it. So I made almost enough money to buy a new tent by staying, and then my stuff pretty much dried out. But this is a disaster in here. It never looks this bad. This is... This is what I'm explaining. This was a bin I've had here for a long time and I found a bunch of my mom's handmade jewelry. So I'm gonna pull all of that out today. I was working on this last night, a lot of old paperwork and stuff that I need to go through. Here's my new eight ounce jars. I have those, I have to put those somewhere, store them. This is some of my displays and stuff. I have to put all this back in my car. That's gonna go back in my car. All this is dried out, but I added more shirts for more inventory because I had five empty hangers from the last show that I did. I had to hang all my hoodies up because they all got wet. So as soon as I got home on Sunday night, I hung them up. It's not so humid today, so I am gonna let these air dry outside. <laughs> my last 75 hard video and I'm probably gonna work on editing that right now because my goal is to get that completed today. I'm just gonna show you something here. I'm kind of nerding out. So I'm a person that's all about goals. I'm a person that's all about getting shit done and I like to have things laid out in front of me. I said this before a million different times but I'm pretty sure I've undiagnosed ADHD and I need to write things down because otherwise I get very overwhelmed and I get really anxious. So this is my way of digesting my brain. So lo and behold here, we have my content schedules or my content schedule. So this is all the stuff, my ideas. Sometimes I'll cross it out if I change my mind. And then I put an X in the box and I highlight it when it's uploaded and edited and stuff like that. You'll see this video that you're watching now in the future, but my last 75 hard video is going to be posted on July 28th. It's been two weeks since I completed the challenge. Uh, when you're watching this, it'll be probably a month and two weeks, but it's fine because I got to keep up on stuff. But this video will probably go in here. So we're going to do art vlog. And I don't know really what I want to name it. Behind, I'm just gonna say behind the scenes because that's really what you're seeing today. I'm showing you my mess and my little fiascos and getting ready for my next art sale. So you're gonna see the behind the scenes stuff. So once this video is edited, I'll cross it out and then I'll highlight it. And then I don't know what video I'm gonna do next. Probably my Thursdays on first video. And then mo next Monday, I'm leaving to Chicago. So look forward to that video. I'm gonna talk, talk at you here. So me and a couple of friends from high school, it's funny because we hung out when we were kids, especially me and Jemima. You may have seen her in one of my videos before, but we recently connected. And so me, 
Jemima and Kayla are leaving on Monday. We're going to go to, uh, I think it's called Lyle, Illinois. We're going to see the Morton Arboretum. I hope I'm saying that right. But then we rented an Airbnb and then the next day we're going to take the city of Chicago and that's going to be a whole nother fun vlog. So look forward to that one. That one will probably be in like two vlogs. So look forward to it in like the next week or whatever. And then I am going to do a glow up video solely because my hair is so dry. Like you could start a forest fire with it. So I'm getting my hair cut on Friday and then I'm gonna do a glow up video because I need some TLC, I need color back in my hair because I need to feel like me again and I've just kind of let myself go because I'm a little bit busy. So that's what I'm gonna work on and yeah. look a lot nicer typed up. I kind of started writing it and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cute. But then I was writing it too big. I'm like, it'll just be easier to do like a 14 point font and just print it out. And then I just stuck them on here. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep this display. I'm just gonna try it out. Again, I got these little moon and star necklaces in here. And then when I put the mushrooms in here, I'll just be like small, small shape rocks, blah, blah, blah. However much I'm gonna sell them for, but yeah. I like it. What do you know, Crick? Are you outside for a long time? Oh, oh. Did that make you mad? I thought you liked being out there. <laughs> you're crazy. You need a bath and you're gonna hate me for it. But you stink. You stink. You stink and you need a bath. You stink and you need a bath. You stink butt. Oh. One of my. Are you done? Quiet. No. As I was saying before I rudely got interrupted by a seven pound wiener dog, one of the goals that I set for myself was to create more short form content. So what I did today is I was filming for this YouTube video. I guess I could screen record and put it on YouTube shorts. I think I'll be doing that in the future, but. So yeah, I have all my short content here. I have some photos of myself too, cause I think I look cute today, but my sister messaged me last night and she's like, oh my God. So I'm gonna back this up a little bit. So I was on the phone with my brother a couple of days ago and he goes, do you know what it's like to have two sisters? And I was like, yeah, I do. Cause you're a bitch. So there's that. <laughs> Before you make a comment, that's how that's like how we show each other love. We completely diss each other and we're kind of savage in that department. We say really mean things to each other, but we don't mean it. It's just like, I like you, so... So my sister had this idea last night because I told her what our brother had said to me. Like, do you know what it's like having two sisters? Like, oh, do you want me to play my little violin for you, you poor little thing? So she had this grand idea. She's like, what if we annoy him and we send him snaps throughout our, like, throughout the day and we just annoy the hell out of him? So I started out this morning with this snap here. Uh, where is it? Here's a photo of my rocks. Going to label them for my next show. And then I told her, I'm like, well, we gotta be m more creative with this. My recycling is full and then he hasn't said anything back yet we haven't pissed him off yet and then this one says I farted and it smells like cabbage and then the next one says starving artist please send food and my sister I'm gonna show you some of her snaps here this does I am cracking up here's a photo of the cereal the kids are eating for breakfast gotta fuel them for the day if you're not familiar my sister 
runs a daycare. And then she goes, gotta use the bathroom before we head outside. It wouldn't be any fun if I peed my pants. <laughs> Time to put my shoes on so we can get some fresh air. Making lunch because someone has to feed the kids. Oh my god. Just wait for it. When we hit the piss off meter, I'll let you guys know. Oh, and also lately I have this really bad habit of forgetting to eat breakfast. It's about 12.20 p.m. I haven't ate anything today because I've been busy. So, we're gonna make some breakfast. Yeah. Gotta get that food in there to have some energy, yeah! last 75 hard videos so that's uploaded created the thumbnail did all the things so i think me and crick are gonna go for a w-a-l-k -okay. i can't say it because she's gonna perk up and act like a little psycho so we're actually gonna go walk outside today it's actually decent and i don't have to worry about her dying of a heat stroke hopefully <laughs> it is cool enough it's only like in the 70s today yesterday was so hot that like the humidity it's not really the hotness that gets to you but since there's been so much rain this year it's like a hot box outside so the second that you walked outside it felt like you were swimming today is a lot better so we're gonna go for a walk and then I'm gonna come back and probably edit some more and then do some things around the house maybe keep cleaning like working at my entryway getting everything cleaned up and I am in the process of packing my friend Nichelle's order so I will show you that when I get back do I go for a walk <laughs> oh I take that as a yes this Okay, let's go. guys sorry if it's a little hard to hear me I'm gonna show you Nichelle's order she ordered a reverse tie-dye rock and bock and t-shirt she said she's been wanting these for a very very long time so you have that the rock and bock and logo on it so she'll be getting this Hold it. all right so I put it in this clear bag, and then she got two elastic bracelets. So she wanted this Howlite one, and I added a couple extra beads just to make sure it was big enough. So she got the Howlite with a lava rock here. You can kind of see that. I know the lighting's not the greatest, but I'm not about to pull up my ring light for this. And then this is a, I think this is brain work. This is sunstone. This one's really pretty. If you hold it up to the light, it kind of glistens different colors. It reminds me of Moonstone and Labradorite in a way. And then I like to put orders in these tiny little bags because you can see through them, but they're also classy. I have my Rock and Bakken business card. Figures don't want to work. And then I have my, I have some jewelry care instructions that I created and it has my QR code on the back there as well. So I always put this with every order. So plop those suckers in there, then take the bag, close it up. You have the order right there, all ready to go. And then you, you're just gonna set that in there 
and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna drop this off at her house in the morning on the way to my dad's house. And I have a very busy day tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be vlogging tomorrow. So this is the end of the art vlog. Let me know if you made it all the way to the end. I'm planning on doing a lot more art vlogs in the near future. I do still have a very, very busy summer, but it's been really fun to throw this one in between everything. And I leave on my trip next Monday. So you might not be seeing one for another art vlog like solely making and creating things this was kind of like the behind the scenes stuff but you probably won't be seeing any more art vlogs for the next week or two but just know that they are on the way and they're coming but i'm exhausted the heat took it out of me when i took cricket for a walk and i realized halfway into our walk that i took her too far so i had to carry her because she's just a tiny little doog and Poor little nugget was like looking at me like, Mom, why are you having me out in this heat? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know the sun was going to peep out behind the clouds. Because like usually it's fine, but once the sun hits, it like heats up like a hot pocket. But my battery's about to die. This is the end of the vlog, and thank you so much for watching. Till next time, my homages, peace out.